you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 27th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 48 You have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but i say to you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be children of your father in heaven for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and send rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous for if you love those who love you what reward do you have do not even the tax collectors do the same and if you greet only your brothers and sisters what more are you doing than others do not even the gentiles do the same be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect dear friends in today's gospel jesus christ calls his followers to make a radical change in thinking he says love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you this commandment is not at all new even from the time of moses the jews are obliged to love their neighbor although their idea of their neighbor was often vague their love of neighbor is understood to mean love of your fellow israelite or one's brother and so for them love of one's enemy would have been considered madness but jesus gives a new meaning to an old law and defines exactly who are the neighbors or extend in the neighborhood to the farthest corners of the globe one's enemies and living this teaching with his life the good news of christ demanded a more perfect love love of friend and foe what christ asks of us is nothing if he has not already lived in this in his life you know what one of the difficult things to do as a christian is obeying this commandment love your enemies how can you love somebody who hurt you but why we have to love our enemies we have to love our enemies not because they deserve to be treated in that way but because of as god wishes them to be treated with loving kindness and mercy somebody said god is good to the unjust as well as the just his love embraces saint and sinners alike God seeks our neighbor highest of good and teaches us to seek the greatest good of others even those who hate and abuse us our love for others even those who are ungrateful and selfish towards us must be marked by the same kindness and mercy which God has shown to us it is easier to show kindness and mercy when we can expect to benefit from doing so it is harder when we expect nothing in return jesus says love your enemies what does he mean by these words does he mean we should have enemies and then later on love them or does he mean we should not have enemies at all let's take into consideration that he is speaking about the disciples and their persecutors enemies here mean those who hate the disciples and not those that the disciples hate disciples are to hate no one if by enemies we mean those who hate then christians should have no enemies but if by enemies we mean those who hate us then we cannot help having enemies we cannot control how others treat us we can only control our attitude to them what jesus is asking us now is that we should not turn hatred for hatred or hostility for hostility jesus is telling us clearly that we must not exclude a single person from our love no matter what they have done or do we cannot do this because this is the way jesus himself lived he put this teaching into practice in his own life he remains the greatest teacher and example of this even if they were leading him out of a shameful public execution of the cross he is still able to say father forgive them for they do not know 
what they are doing. Amen. May God bless us.